to today's video. So you guys seem to really want to watch me clean out my rat cage and it needs doing anyway so I thought I might as well film it too. So this probably isn't going to be the most aesthetically pleasing video to watch because for the most part it's going to be a dirty rat cage which is just the reality of owning rats. They get to a point where they do need a big deep clean and I don't do a deep clean that often. Having a bigger cage you'd probably think that I'd have to put a lot more work into it but I do find having a bigger rat cage for three rats is a lot easier than having a smaller one. So in terms of cleaning I know everyone has a different routine but for me I do a spot clean about twice a week. I will empty their litter trays, I'll go around and wipe any surfaces that they've peed on and once a week I will take all of their hammocks out and wash them. In terms of a proper big deep clean where I literally take everything out and rearrange it and clean everything wash all the ropes and everything like that. I do that about once a month. That also includes taking out the bedding in the bottom. My rats are relatively litter trained but sometimes they will just go wherever they want to. That's again the reality of owning rats. Sometimes no matter how hard you try they won't litter train themselves so the bottom is getting a bit gross and that's kind of my deciding factor of wanting to do a deep clean in the base of the cage. Now I do have a perspex base in the cage. I made this myself. I do get so many questions about how I made this and unfortunately I didn't film it at the time so it's really hard to replicate this but having the base in the bottom of the cage makes my life so much easier, it prevents the bedding from being kicked out but it also means I can put a lot more bedding in there which does make it last a bit longer. So yeah I thought I'd just show you guys what I do when I deep clean my rat cage. This includes everything from taking the bedding out down to you even wiping the bars of the cage so all of that is going to get done today and I'm going to bring you guys along too. This cage itself is the Pet Planet Rat and Ferret cage. I did make a review on this cage when I'd had it for about a year so I'll leave that in the iCards and in the description if you're interested in also picking up one of these cages for yourself and you wanted to know my honest opinion having used it for a year. But yeah I think that is everything I wanted to say. I'm just going to get started now and clean out the cage. So I will usually wait until the rats are awake before I clean their cage out but as they are starting to get older they spend most of the day sleeping now so I did have to gently encourage them to wake up. So this is just an overview of what the cage looked like before I cleaned it out. From this shot you can't really tell how bad it is but it did really need doing. And then I just took the rats out and put them into a carrier. Usually when I clean the rats out I do just let them run around the room. This does end up with me getting the bin bags ripped open and everything going everywhere but I don't mind, I usually just let them run around. But as I was trying to film as well, filming and cleaning the cage is hard enough, I didn't need any distractions so I did put them in the carrier with a few snacks whilst I was cleaning out the cage. So to start all I do is start to take things out of the rat cage. The first things I usually take out are the hammocks. These then go in the washing machine and they are washed on a hot wash. This can then happen whilst I'm cleaning the cage out, although I do have plenty of spare hammocks that I put in and alternate whilst these are drying. If I'm doing a big deep clean like this I will take everything else out, like the ropes, the litter trays, things like that. I will keep in some things that are a bit more difficult to put in and take out. These are usually like the IKEA unit thing, this green thing I have. In the back that usually stays in and I just wipe it because that is hard to zip tie and cut the zip ties off and I don't usually want to waste any zip ties so things like that stay in the cage but everything else that is easy to take out does get taken out. So to clean up the cage and all of the items in it I use a white vinegar solution. This is 50% water, 50% white vinegar and this is just in a spray bottle that I use to spray down the cage. So honestly one of the worst places in their cage at the moment is this green thing from the children's section in Ikea. You can't actually get this anymore if you were wondering, I get a lot of people asking that but this gets gross. I think what happens is they pee on the top of this 
as soon as they wake up because they do sleep inside it and then they go in their dig box and then they walk back and it's just like a weird pea mud mixture. I wipe this pretty much every day and it still gets gross. Most of the things I would take them out but they really enjoy this so I really don't want to so right now I'm just spraying the heck out of it and wiping it down with some tissue. Then I just move the shelf so I can get better access to the base of the cage and then I'm moving and taking out all of the items in the bottom just so I can take out all of that bedding. Then it's time to scoop all of the poop and the bedding out of the bottom. This is the most time consuming part but oddly I find it very therapeutic. I use a dustpan and brush to scoop all of the poop out. I don't know if anyone else also uses this method but I've been using this for a while now and it is the quickest way I've found to get all of that bedding out quickly. And then of course I'm just spraying more of the vinegar solution in the bottom to disinfect it. By this point my whole room is smelling like a chip shop which is not the nicest smell. And also I do listen to songs like Disney songs whilst I'm doing this because it does get quite tedious but then I just let that sink in and then wipe it off with some tissue or a cloth I have that is like my designated rat cage cloth. Then I just go round with a sponge and the vinegar solution and wipe all of the sides of the perspex. This does get quite gross quite quickly because their mucky little paw prints are often all over the perspex so I just give that a wipe down as well as the base of the perspex too. And then the way that my rat cage is designed there's a weird gap at the front and often bits of food or poop or god knows what get stuck down in that gap so I'm just using a clip and kind of poking all of those bits that are stuck down there to get them out. So once all of that is done it's time to put some fresh bedding back into the bottom of the cage. The bedding I use is a hemp based horse bedding called Orbios. I'm never too sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but I've been using this bedding for over a year now and with all of the bedding as I've tried during my time of earning rats this is the one that I've kind of settled on and decided is the best one for me and for my rats. I think it works really well so I'm just filling up my perspex tray with some of this bedding. Once that is done I put the metal shelf back in and cover that with a bath mat. This is then clipped down and then I put the dig box back in. All I'm doing here is mixing the soil up with my hands. If you find your rats aren't digging in your dig box too much you are going to have to circulate the soil yourself. If you don't do this the soil is going to get gross and it can potentially get mouldy so you do want to make sure your soil in your dig box is circulated and mixed on a regular basis just so you don't have to replace that and that's what I've done today. I haven't replaced the soil. It is still perfectly fine to use. They've not pooed in it or anything so I am still using the same soil in the dig box but just mixing it up to keep it fresh. So then I just start hanging the ropes and things again and filling up the litter trays. The bedding I use in the litter trays is Buddha Select. This is a paper based pellet bedding which is really good and absorbent to put in the litter trays. So I just put that back in, put their P-Rocks back on top of the bedding and then clip these back where they go into the cage. I also make sure to wipe down the bars of the cage if I'm doing a big deep clean. The bars of the cage can actually harbour a lot of the bad smells so if you're finding your rat cage smells and don't really know why make sure you're not skipping out on wiping the bars.
Then it's time to add in some fresh hammocks and these were actually kindly sent to us by Dainty Paws UK. I've used so many different hammocks for my rats over the years and I definitely find that theirs last the longest and they're just made so well so if you also want to pick up some hammocks for your rats or your other small animals I do have a discount code which is emiology10 this will get you 10% off when you buy any hammocks from her store so I definitely recommend you check her out I'll leave the link to her store and her Instagram down in the description. So lastly I just add in their foraging toys or anything else that needs to be added in and then I also switch out their water in their water bowl for clean water which I do every day anyway because they always get dirt from their dig box in their water bowl despite it being the other end of the cage. And lastly I just put the rats back into their cage. Even though they are getting very old now they do still enjoy having a new cage with a different layout to explore so that's why it's so important to switch things up for your rats on a regular basis just to keep them entertained with a new cage layout to explore. Due to their age I do have to take into consideration their ability to get around the cage but I do still want to keep it as active as possible so this might not be the most interesting cage layout ever but I do want to tailor it towards my rats and their age. But as soon as they checked everything out in the cage, I just want to go back to sleep in their new Dainty Paws UK hammocks. So yeah, that is how I do a big clean on my rat cage. I know everyone probably has a different method, but if you have any questions about anything I was doing, definitely leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Also make sure you are subscribed to see any more animal content from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!